All right guys, Eddie of Fliptronics, and I'm gonna be going over how to use split screen on iOS 15. Now the first thing I wanna do is show you that I am updated to iOS 15, so we're gonna do that, and I'm also using the iPhone 12 mini. And I'm gonna give you the bad news early. So the bad news is there's not a stock option way to do this. You have to actually use a third-party app. So I'm gonna go over two really good ones. The first one's gonna be my top choice, and it's called Split Screen View, but it's got a blue and green logo. Now this thing is awesome, and you're gonna see that right now. So I'm gonna throw it up and then I'll show you my backup option, but this first app is definitely gonna be the best way to use split screen on your iPhone. Okay, so when you have it opened up, you're gonna see that there's two different um, you know, windows and it's got a bunch of tabs in it. Now, <clears throat> I'm gonna load up YouTube on one, I'm gonna throw up Amazon on the other, and I'm just gonna show you what it looks like. Now, this app is free to use and um, it works in both portrait and landscape, so we're gonna check that out in a second. I just wanted to kind of like minimize it and uh, show you what it looks like when you're moving it around. You've also got these tabs. And the cool thing is you can delete the tabs and start over when you want to, and then you get these icons, you know, back. Um, also, I forgot to mention, as you guys are watching this, if you could smash like button on this video, I would definitely appreciate it. If you have any questions, you know, about using either one of these apps, feel free to message me below in the comments. But this first one right here is extremely intuitive. It looks great, uh, especially when you're making the windows smaller or larger. And honestly, this is going to be the best bet. And this is by far you know, the best third-party app for split screening on your iPhone. It is awesome, and like I said, it's got the blue and green logo to it, and it's free. Okay, um, I'll probably come back to that in a second. I do want to go over the other option. This one's not going to be as good, however, but I did want to throw it back up. Now, it's called split screen view. Um, this one works okay. It's just that it hasn't had an update in a while, and it's kind of the same thing here. You can, you know, go up and down with it. The downside to using this app, though, is that it does not have landscape, so you can only do split screen and portrait, which is a little bit annoying, but, you know, there are some features within it. You can use incognito mode uh, for browsing and, you know, minimizing and, you know, changing the browser sizes is pretty easy to do, but like I said, the biggest downside to this one is that you're not going to be able to use it in landscape which is pretty frustrating honestly okay so i also want to say i would have figured apple would have put something out by now as far as like just a split screen feature but they haven't done it yet uh i think it's pretty frustrating hopefully they uh they make a move eventually on you know throwing something out there but for now like i said your best option is going to be to use this split screen app it's awesome it's intuitive it works in both portrait and landscape and you know it's it's great all right hope you guys enjoyed this if you could smash a like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't thanks for watching it and we will see you in the next one